Lita Morgan. Thank you, Speaker. Um, I'm rising in support of this amendment, and I'm really, really happy that uh, Representative Lima, or no, your Deputy Speaker Lima, um, agrees that having an independent inspector general is a really good idea for Rhode Island, because it is. There's some information that is not widely known, but we should know. There are about nine states that already have inspector generals. And in those states, the tax burden is lower than in the states that don't have one. So here in Rhode Island, our tax burden per person is about $8,800 per person. But in the states that have an inspector general, it ranges from $5,000 down to $3,300. So a significant difference. It's about a $3,800 difference for most people. And that is because an inspector general, well not entirely, but an inspector general can, independent of instruction, go looking for ways to squeeze out waste or abuse, to find corruption, and stop it. We have a wonderful Auditor General. Um, I was just on the Oversight Committee last night with Chairman Serpa, and he has provided the, the Oversight Committee with a wonderful study of the UHIP program. But all he can do is give us findings. He listed them. There was about two, two and a half pages of findings, which means he sees there's an issue there's something wrong. But all he can do is point at it and say something is wrong here. He can't investigate it, he certainly can't subpoena, and he can't uh, prosecute. He's forbidden from doing that. All he can do is do the audit and point out that some things are wrong. An inspector general can go out, find the things that are wrong, investigate them, subpoena people, and prosecute. And there's the difference. How many of you read the Auditor General's? Okay, good, I'm glad, I'm glad some of you do because most of us don't, I think. He really puts out good work. We look at it, we say, wow, this is good, look at what he's found, but then we don't act on it. And that's why it's so important to have an inspector general. Because that person, that office, can find the waste, the fraud, the abuse, the, the criminality or the, the corruption, and he can stop it. And when that office stops it, then there's more money for us to spend and use on other more valuable things than waste, fraud, abuse, and corruption. So I hope that you will, will um, vote for this amendment. The money that's used to fund it is about $4 million, same as our Auditor General's office now. It comes from the 911 funds because that's the ultimate bait and switch. And if we're going to bait and switch, we should switch for something that really helps the people of Rhode Island and our government be more efficient and careful with their money. Thank you.